Stop it. Well, it's so weighted. Should we do a drop test? Oh, I'm already gone, so blessed. Pray for me. Madura, for me. Pray I find my way. Hey everyone, welcome back. Hope you're doing fantastic. If you're new to my channel, hi, my name is Esaike Mr. Park J. So as we can tell by the title of this video, today we're going to be doing a foundation test on the new Revolution Concealing Defined Full Coverage Foundation. And I know I said I was on the spending ban on Revolution because it just keep coming out with new products and I cannot keep up, but I finally caved. I, I caved. So let's just go ahead and, you know, test out this foundation. If you have to join the fan bam, be sure to subscribe down below. That way you're part of the fan bam. Turn on notification. And when you've turned on notification and you subscribe, let me know down below so I can probably welcome to the family okay. if you like this video please don't forget to give it a thumbs up as well okay so without further ado let's just jump straight into it so if you've bought stuff on revolution before um you know that the things that you order does come in a box like so so this is the box it came in and i actually picked up three shades of the foundation so before we get into this let's just go straight into what the product is about if you see me looking down and looking to my side that's because i have notes in front of me and i also have the computer on to show me exactly what the product is supposed to be about okay so this is a revolution castle and define full coverage foundation this foundation comes in a frosted glass bottle the bottle guys is huge and heavy it's pretty weighted literally and this is what the bottle looks like i haven't opened it fully because it still has uh what is it the wrap on it so this foundation apparently comes in 24 shades covering pink cool warm neutral gold peach undertone and the shades it's kind of confusing me the shade range it's it's good but at the same time i'm still feeling like mm. So this foundation retails for 15 Australian dollars, 12 US dollars and 9 UK pounds. It is affordable and it is 23 mils. It's a little bit smaller than the standard foundation size, but it's still all right in my opinion. And they're claiming for this foundation to be lightweight, have beautiful, but mainly full coverage. They're saying it's oil free, yet creamy and comfortable formula that dries to a long lasting demi matte finish and won't settle into fine lines or clog pores. Okay. Uh, all right. We're going to see how that goes. The concealer, I have the Revolution Concealer and Define Concealer as well. And the claims of this concealer is very, very similar, if not the same as the claim of this foundation. And also the shades as well. I believe they did extended the shades in the concealer. So the shades as well are quite similar to the shades of the foundation as well. And I did learn that the shades of the Concealer and Define Concealer corresponds with the shades of the foundation. So we're going to swatch the difference today. One thing I did notice about this concealer, which I noticed I haven't really mentioned before, is that it does dry down to a slightly darker color but it doesn't oxidize throughout the day so i'm curious to see if the same thing is going to happen with this one so in the concealer i have the shade c10 c12 and c13 c13 is quite close to my skin tone actually it just looks a tiny little bit ashy because i have applied it all over my face before just kind of test it out so for that reason i chose the shade f13 still in the foundation as well as the shade 13.5 f13 is supposed to be for me medium to dark skin tones with golden undertone and f13.5 is supposed to be for medium to dark skin tone with neutral undertone and i'm more of a warm golden undertone and i also picked up the shade f17 perhaps just to see what it's going to look like and maybe contour and all that and just in case there's any of you babes that's a bit darker so f17 is supposed to be for deep dark skin tone with neutral undertone so this is going to be interesting Oh, that is beautiful. Apparently it has a doe foot applicator. Oh, this is huge. I've seen it in someone's video, but looking at it in real life, it's much more bigger than it looked in the video. And I love that. I love it when something turns out bigger than you actually thought it was going to be. Because, you know, the bigger the better. But, oh my God. Oh, oh my God. Oh, I haven't, I didn't even brought it out. And I was, oh, oh that is huge i have never ever seen a doe foot applicator this big before ever even the tart shape tape is and i'm i, I don't want to be one of those people that mention tart shape tape every time they review a revolution concealer or whatever but this this just looks pathetic to me now literally to be honest with you do you see this <gasps> this is huge and this is the concealer <laughs> <laughs> this is the size of the doe for avocado concealer and i thought this was big but this do you see this we love the big tin big tin so this is f13 which is described as a medium to dark skin tone with golden undertone so that is f13 let me just go ahead and swatch c13 in the concealer it's actually finished but let me try and see if i can get anything okay 
Okay, so they're pretty close, but I wouldn't say that they're the, ex they're the exact same. F13 of the foundation seems to look more yellowish. Meanwhile, this one looks a little bit peachy. I don't know. What do you think? It's similar, but I wouldn't say it's the exact same, you know? So this is 13.5. They're very close. I appreciate the closeness of the shade, but you can see that this one, the undertone of this one is slightly different to the undertone of the F13. I think I'm gonna just use 13.5. 13, 13 and this is 17. Oh my God, that is dark. That is dark. That's awesome. I like that. It smells like the concealer. Just, you know, it doesn't have a particular smell. It has a smell, but not. it's not fragrance. Let's prime. I'm just gonna use the Revolution Pro Prime and Hydrate Primer. I might as well just use this. This is very, very hydrating. It doesn't necessarily have a longevity benefit to it, but it's nice, nice and hydrating. Let me just swatch this on my face. So this is F13.5. Okay, it looks a little bit ashy right now. That is interesting. F13, this is for golden undertone. Okay, hmm. Hmm. Okay, let me just show you 17 on my face just for your information. Oh, oh, yeah. All right, so let's just, so neutral, golden. All right, let me just go with undertone that my suit made better, which is golden undertone. So that means we're gonna use F13. Maybe I should have gone for 14, but that one's for cool undertone. F15 is for red undertone. F16 is for warm undertone. So maybe I should have gone 16. I'm pretty sure I said the same thing when I was buying the concealer. It's interesting. <laughs> okay, so the applicator doesn't really pick up a lot. That's a little bit of a let. Now, what's the point of that? I would like it to just, you know, give me enough. Feels nice and comfortable on the face though, the applicator that is. Okay, let's go ahead and blend it. I'm gonna blend this side using a sponge. This is the Shop Miss A Wonder Blender. This is blending just like the concealer and you can see my face look a little bit casty. <laughs> okay, all right, so this is, mm, this right here does not look warm to me. My chest is warm and golden. This does not really look golden or whatnot to me. So let me apply F13.5 on this side, just in case you and I are the same skin tone and you're trying to figure out which shade you should go for. I'm gonna use a brush to blend this side out. Maybe this is better. I think this is, looks better than this one. It's still not great or perfect, but it looks better than this one. All right, so here we are. We have F13 on this side and we have F13.5 on this side. I wonder what 16 would look like because that's the next shade that has warm undertone, I believe. Meanwhile, 14 and 15 has cool and red undertone, apparently. So yeah, anyway, let's just leave the shade aside because if we, if I keep talking about it, we're going to be here for a long time. <sighs> All right, so coverage wise, this is definitely not full coverage. So I'm just going to go ahead and layer it and just see if I can build it up and i'm going to use the two different shades for each side so f13.5 on this side f13 on this side i'm gonna use a sponge it's easy to layer which is good that's really good actually all right so there we go so that's f13.5 layered and i can see that the coverage has definitely increased it looks a little bit radiant but they said it dries down to a matte finish so i'm gonna give it a couple of minutes to kind of dry down but right now it looks good the coverage looks great it looks better than the light to medium coverage we have here do you see that let me try and use a brush and see if it will easily top up with a brush. Uh, I think a brush kind of reduces the coverage compared to a sponge or a beauty blender. So I'm just gonna finish it up with a beauty blender and I'm switching to this side. That feels really good. It looks really good on my forehead. Do you see that? Oh, I love the way this applies with a beauty sponge. All right, so that looks good, right? It's covered my blemishes, which is good. It still look kind of radiant, but this side is already drying down compared to this side. It's wet to touch. I kind of want to set it with a powder though, but I think I'll wait. Let me just do my under eye. I'm gonna go in with with the concealer i'm going to use the the shade c12 for my under eyes oh this doe for applicator is so small <laughs> compared to that one now i'm not gonna go ahead and set it with the derma blend loose setting powder in a shade warm saffron i mean i'm setting the concealer not the foundation <laughs> all right so here we go concealer is applied we've set the concealer i haven't set the foundation itself so i am gonna go off and finish the rest of my face and i'll be right back all right babes here we are oh my gosh you will not believe what i found <laughs> Ooh. Anyway, 
So I took a video of the foundation of my face under the studio light plus daylight and I have concluded that F13 and F13.5 definitely does not suit my skin tone to the T, okay? I look like a floating bubble head. It might look good to you right now, but in daylight and everything, I just look like a floating bubble head. And even when I took flash photography with it, oh my Lord. This is what I was saying earlier, like the shade range, it's good and everything, but there's still, there's, there's, a, there's a lot of things missing. There's a lot missing. I still haven't set it with a powder. It it definitely does look like I have makeup on my face. It's definitely already settling into my smile line. Perhaps maybe it's because I didn't set it with a powder. So coverage wise, we have a full coverage beat on our face, you know, but it's very, very lightweight. It's matte, but not like slap your face matte, kind of like semi matte. Actually they said demi matte, so I guess we can call it that. I don't really feel the need to set it with a powder. I really would like to put a powder on top of it to kind of try as much as possible to kind of write that, the lightness of the foundation itself, especially in daylight, honey. But I'm just gonna have to explain to my family member today that yeah, look like a floating bubble head because I'm testing foundation. And they already know the drill, so that's okay. And also, in case you're wondering, I did not use a setting spray at all. So let's just do a little bit of a wear test. All right, stay tuned. I will see you soon. All right, babes, we're back. It is currently 11.27 at the minute. So it's been about eight hours, literally, since I left you guys earlier today. And this is what my face is looking like. As you can see, we can see a little bit of shine on our nose. I'm trying not to shout too much because my niece is sleeping in the bedroom. But yeah, we can see a little bit of shine on our nose. And this actually started about two hours ago. So about six hours after I've applied the foundation. That's not really too bad. But the thing is, once the oil started coming through, the foundation started to break down, as you can see, like around my nose area right here it's kind of starting to break down a little bit it's not like massive or whatever you know but it's just it's still noticeable you know what i mean and right here it's like a whole chunk of the foundation is left like if you look at my chin area is this my chin yes um up until around this side it's I don't know it's 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 interesting but my forehead area looks good you know my forehead area the foundation has stayed put everywhere else even the blush and whatnot that I applied on top of it has stayed put so uh, I have a lot to say about this but I'm trying not to say too much because I don't want this video to be too long but so let's just jump straight into the claim so the claim for this foundation will be lightweight it definitely is lightweight the claim for it will be beautiful but mostly full coverage it's definitely beautiful it's very easy to build up to full coverage as I saw earlier on so I would recommend it for that they say it's um, oil free yet creamy and comfortable formula that dries through a long lasting demi matte finish and won't settle into fine lines or clogged pores. It definitely does dry down to a matte finish, not slappy face matte, like semi matte. I didn't really feel like I needed to settle with powder. That's how matte it was, but not like too, 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 too matte. You know what I mean? Now, in terms of fine lines, the fine lines on my face are my smile lines and the lines under my eyes. It definitely did set into my smile lines right after we applied the foundation earlier on. And throughout the day, like I kept seeing like a distinctive difference in my smile line. Now, in terms of shade, I can say that it seemed to like oxidize a little bit but not too 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 much because my face doesn't look too too light compared to how it looked earlier on so based on the claim and based on the wear and the finish of this foundation would I recommend this foundation mainly if you like to look beat you know but if you're more into a natural looking finish type of foundation this is not for you babe this is not for you okay but if you like to look beat this is for you even if you're going with one layer and you apply it and you still have a light to medium coverage it's still going to look beat does that make sense so i don't know i don't know but yeah i would recommend it for normal skin i would also recommend it for dry skin as well because it doesn't feel drying on my face oily skin because of the separation i don't really like it when we have to worry too much about foundation separating you know i love it when a foundation doesn't separate once the oil start coming through you know so for that reason i don't know if i would recommend it but at the end of the day it's your choice you know what i mean but to me i wouldn't necessarily go for this just for that purpose if i were to go for it i just mainly focus on the outer period of my face you know the area where i'm not really oily and not really putting my teeth on area you know because it's separate and that was one of the reasons why i gave away my fancy foundation and all that because i didn't need it because it's separate you know when i sweat and also when i have oil you know so yeah i don't know if i recommend it for oily skin for that purpose okay so now if you are done watching this video you can click out this video now because i have a little bit to say about the whole shade fiasco okay <laughs> So Makeup Revolution, I really do appreciate Makeup Revolution for trying to be inclusive in their shade range and also including smaller content creators in their brand promotion and all that, you know, being very um, accommodating to everybody. So I really do appreciate that about them. But the main thing is like, and I've been thinking about this since they launched the concealer. I mean, the great thing is their Concealer and Defy Concealer, they did extend the shade, which is fantastic. Well, when you look at the shade of this foundation, 
there's enough shade in the range but there's not a lot of shade for everybody you know for me it was a little bit hard for me to pick up my shade because in my opinion like if you if a shade range is inclusive i shouldn't be the second to the last shade in the range or first to the last shade in the range which is why i hardly really go for the f16 and f17 and the description also kind of throws me off as well you know so i went for f13 because i saw the makeup by time use f13 and my friend jojo final one also he said she used f13 and i believe makeup by tammy is a little bit lighter than i am so i chose the sh shade f13.5 to kind of counteract that and as you can see today like that didn't really work for me so i think i'm gonna place an order for f16 i might do that let me know if you want me to do that and i'll consider it but with that being said i even though i do appreciate how close the shades are like 13 and 13.5 are very close the only difference is the undertone which is fantastic and that's what we want and even though i do appreciate that i would really appreciate it if there was more you know there's not a lot of shade for a lot of us for a lot of people to choose from like i swatched the shade f17 which is the shade before the last shade in this range i swatched it on my brother-in-law and it just looked so light on him and he is a definition of chocolate like he looks is a chocolate guy okay and it looked it didn't match him at all so i'm really curious and wondering if f18 would even match him you know if f17 couldn't match him and it's the shade before the last shade how can f18 really match him and even on the flash videography f17 looked to have a little bit of a greenish undertone on his face yeah there's something off there okay so please make up revolution i don't know if you're ever gonna watch this video i do hope you do extend it or you had a few more shades in between and even after 18 and even the last the shades i was watching another lovely girl i think it was about two days ago and i noticed in the video that the foundation shade that she picked looked a little bit the undertone was so off you know and look and it looked like she just had to make it work you know god bless her so so it looks like it's not just people of color as well it's also non-people of color too you know so it's just there's something off in the range and it's just been baffling me all day now speaking of which i've already shared with you guys what this foundation look like in the daylight i've shared with you guys what this foundation look like in photos and all that and it just does not look good and i think it's mainly because of the wrong shade against my skin tone so i won't really judge the photo on that and i think i want to try and just give makeup revolution the chance and pick up the shade f16 because i was looking on youtube today and i saw this other lady coincidentally enough her name is also esther and i saw that she applied 16 the undertone looks a little bit different to her skin tone as well but it seemed to kind of suit her so i'm gonna try that out so if you're interested in seeing what f16 looks like on me let me know and i can place the order tonight when you're watching this video basically your response will tell me whether or not i should buy the shade f16 just for you babes to see okay and i apologize i forgot to use f17 to contour i was gonna use it but i forgot i'm sorry let me dab this with a sponge Oh, once it dab it with a sponge, that separation kind of fixes itself a little bit. I can still, oh, I've just set the separation into place. That's hilarious. There's a bit of shine on my brow bone as well. Okay, that's nice. My face actually still looks good after dabbing the oil away. That's really cool, actually. So that's all I have for you today. Let me know the question down below what you think about this foundation. Would you try it out based on the formula? Okay, I would really like to know. I feel like I wasn't informative enough in today's video. Let me know in the comment section down below if you have any questions you want to ask me about this foundation, if there's anything I missed out. Okay, and let me know what you think about this foundation. And by the way, I did not really color correct this video because I want you guys to see what the foundation itself looks like if i were to color correct this video you would think that the foundation is my shade let me do it right now so this is the video color corrected by color corrected i mean the saturation is up a little bit exposure might be down but the saturation is a little bit up to kind of give life to my skin a little bit and you see that and this is it not color corrected yeah i can definitely make it look like my skin tone and say it, it is my skin tone it matches me but what's the point you know what i mean yeah so thanks for watching as i said so this family notification is sharon brown thank you so much for coming to my recent video thank you for your support thank you so much for, so much for subscribing to my channel i appreciate you and i appreciate every single one of you babes thanks so much once again and as always whatever doing to love yourself and i'll see you in my very next video bye finally arrived hey fam bam welcome back i always mess the beginning up so this foundation retails for 15 us dollars nope stop it this bottle feels so nice but it's so weighted if i drop this i believe should we do a drop test i dropped it on the carpet okay <laughs>